Hello, welcome, welcome to Robin's Room Readings. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate your presence on my channel. Um, I'm going to say to you that I was just given this because I just had to put my two cats to sleep. So this is in memoriam of them. I'm missing them very much. I'm very blessed. I'm going to be doing a, a quick call in for the guides. My God. Our divine light beings that have the best interest for us and anyone connected to this reading. Thank you for your presence, the guidance to help us heal on whatever level we are. Archangel Michael, and most of all, we honor your presence and we call you in to safeguard our families and our children and us as well. So if there's something that we're doing that is horrific, maybe you can guard the way and protect, prevent us from doing it. That would be a special favor for those who are reaching out for help. Spirit, thank you so much for your love, the heart of, the heart of Christ. Okay, the angels that are guiding this particular reading is prosperity. So there's prosperity here. A, a angel, Ariel. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Let's see who else accompanies Ariel. Spirit, thank you for your lovely presence. Here we go. Sensitivity, psychic skills, tapping in, empathy, being concerned about what other people think, too over, too over nurturing, too under nurturing, too something of that nature. And maybe you feel like people don't. They're not sensitive to your needs. That's Archangel Haniel. It says you're being um, extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. She's sitting in a garden like an angel playing music. So that is like something to heal your soul. That's definitely a step in the right direction for prosperity. Then we also have Archangel Michael. You are safe. Your family, what you prayed for is safe. You asked for it, you got it, he says. Let's see what's going on over here in this storyline. Spirit, show me. Clear the air. What is the direction of this reading? Show me, please, the storyline. Then we'll look at you versus the one you're thinking about. What are the energies provided at this time, guys? It's a very strong portal for me, and I'm taking it with grace and giving it back with grace. This may or may not be your reading. You will know when it is complete, if it sets well with your situation and you have been ministered to somehow. That means edified and acknowledged that your situation, you're not alone. Because a lot of us felt like we were so alone when we were being abused, gaslighted and mistreated by other people. And we felt very much alone, like nobody would understand that. And that's when, like, the unction comes out of your soul, and you're asking the divine and asking God to help you. Archangel Michael will snap right into place and cut people off. You have to let them go. The story, go the distance. Something you've started already is needing to be manifest. That's 47. That's 11, so that means there's a portal opening. It's hot right now if you have to move on something. There's a masculine here. So this is someone being in the masculine energy and starting over, re recreating the new, um, the power, the yang, the reiki energy, the complete life force energy. Reiki is spirit energy. Creating that with masculine intention, power, because that's a manifester energy. And what else, please? Soulmate. Manifesting a soulmate going the distance. Well, wow, there's a message there. Wow. Okay. Keep going if you're running a business. Stay in this yang energy where you're providing for yourself and being sensitive to what other people are demanding of you. You have a soulmate in your life. It might also be praying for you, asking Archangel Michael to protect you, someone or someone in your soul family, they said, which is really nice to hear, isn't it, guys? 
Well, let's see. What's happening? Who's involved here? What higher powers, what, uh, what energy is dominating this intervention here? What is it? Please, spirit. Here we go. Wow. Okay, first two of them. We will take them. This is, a, this is the higher mind. This is an Archangel Metatron. The overseer of the spiritual realms used to be called, he, I think they referred to him in the in 5D, I don't know what it is, but one of the esoteric um, readings I did, and I read it several times, somehow the prophet um, Enoch, from the beginning, um, very close to God, I guess he was like a high priest or something as well, but he was close to God. He chose when he when he went and ascended to take on this form, is what I hear, Metatron. And he was able to communicate with the demonic energies that had fallen, fallen angels, we'll say. They were names, they have names, and he was able to go to God on their behalf. They begged him, release us, we're, we're sorry, we repent. But he's, he went to God and God said, no, you can't, you're, you're angels, you gave it up. To be a human and act like a human. Um, but now the human psyche is getting a higher vibration. When Metatron comes on the scene and Michael together, you're being sensitive to soulmate uh, connections as well with the masculine. And let's see what's happening. There's a masculine here, right here. In love with somebody. Wants, is very much in love with you. Nine would be abundant, so that would be in love. And he's thinking about how to get to this one, how to get psychically connected to you. Maybe he actually is psychically connected to you. And he could be a male or female, but it's very much a masculine here. Yang, man, in love. Very sensitive. Very psychic. Wants to bring prosperity and go the distance with his whole name. This is, this is what I'm getting. What else, please? And he's trying to get over a broken heart. It's very sensitive because of the broken heart. And because there's envy on him. Someone's envious of this man or someone around this man. And it's calling in the archangels. Tell me about this envy. It's something to do with his um, trying to keep him demeaned, keep him down, envy and door to value, make him feel like he's a piece of junk and break, keep his heart broken. What's making them feel like a piece of junk? Could be his Leo in the reverse. They're definitely not shining down on you. The energy is, is like the sun isn't shining, so there's no real big revelation at the moment. There's just this energy of envy and broken heart. Here's Archangel Michael again over this reading. In this, it is 35, so someone has called him at the crossroads in reference to a relationship. And one more, please. And they're doing moon magic on him. Still doing it on somebody's soulmate for money. Absolutely for money. You should be aware of this. I know not who you are. Someone's pretending to be your friend. Could be a Sagittarian and an Archangel Michael and Metatron are trying to warn somebody. We don't know because it's number 14. Someone's pretending to be your friend. But they're like the dark horse chasing the light horse to steal your light. I'm trying to tell you. They're after something. They're after your psychic self too. Give me more. Keep yourself uh, protected. Someone's in love with someone and it's causing envy. One more, please. Someone has chosen the temple path. They've chosen to both pull back, stay back, learn the lesson, go to the higher path, go through the grit, the growl, the heavy stuff, the faith, the lack of faith, the whole belief shebang. Willing to go through it. Sorry, the light, I didn't adjust it. Hold on. Maybe that's a little better. So, 
I'm just working with this new equipment here. All right, so we have a situation here, guys, where that somebody's chosen the temple path, and Archangel Michael is making sure that you're safe from the magic. The magician is envious, and I'm going to find out who that is right now. Cancel out those negative energies, take away, strip away their power, shut the mouth of the lions. In the name of Christ, I declare that a thing, and those who are innocent are fully protected. And so it is. Turn on my AC before I cook from the heat. Oh my goodness. All right, loves. So this is the storyline, and this is what's happening. And we're going to talk about it. All right. Clearing the energy. No weapon formed against you prospers for the righteous. No weapon formed against you prospers. You are, you are, you can't do wicked on the righteous and get away with it. Tell me who this Karen connection shows up to be. And Karen, tell me who the envious person shows up to be. And then tell me what the collective shows up to be. Spirit, Holy Spirit, who is this person in caring connections and are they good for you? The chariot, it could be a cancer. Is cancer meaning well for the collective right now? Who this applies to? Nope, the devil. Cancel, can, it is a cancer doing magic on a sacred person pretending to be a friend. That is not a joke or a Capricorn. Tell me more. And they do moon magic. So they're doing something by the moon. There it is twice for this person. And then uh, how strong is it towards my collective? Shh. Your collective is protected. Archangel Michael, Metatron, and Michael are swishing around this place and watching every damn thing they do. And they're going to be held accountable for the pain that they're causing you. They're, they're coming, someone's coming against a masculine to either prevent his prosperity and his spiritual growth. There's the spirit of envy that's taking over somebody's heart. And the envy is, I don't know what that is. Let's find out. King of Cups in reverse. It's someone who is not in his heart. He's not loving. He's actually very mad and he's got a treacherous heart right now. Not giving. Why is he like that? Why is he like that? Four of Wands, his family was torn apart. His family's been torn apart by something. His loving relationship with the Twin Flame is probably in the cahoots right now. Somebody's in the temple path because somebody's doing magic on somebody, and it's not good. Sagittarius is involved. More, please. Who else is involved? And what are they up to? Harfant in reverse. That's a wicked, that's a, a, a negative, um, a dark shaman, a witch doctor, um, someone doing voodoo, someone uh, of that kind of faith. So someone hired someone to do it. And they wanted you to be in the hangman per permanently. Not able to move, not able to make money. And they're envious. Knight of Swords, and they're keeping it secret. They're not coming forward and revealing their self to you. So the Holy Spirit is making it known to you and to tell you what to do. Yes? No weapon formed against me prospers. I have the heart of Christ. I have the heart of divinity that wishes well for mankind. And I will stay there. No weapon formed against me prospers. Shut the mouth of the lions. I speak against any negative energy that does hurt you. You just have to build up your auric fields, God. Guys, build up your love centers. Let me go. we got to read here. So tell me about what this person's really keeping secret. That they're sleeping around with someone. Knight of Wands. 
They're creeping around at night and they're doing things at night to burden someone. I don't know what it is, but it's not good. Um, let me see what the guides say about the outcome of that for my, for my collective. Speak to us, please. The will of fortune is working in your favor. You are divinely protected. You are, uh, you're, you, they can't get into your karmic field. They're trying. They're jealous because you're very, very special. You're highly tapped in. Yeah. They're not going to get victory. Six of Wands is in reverse. So it'll be like a waste of your time, people, because whoever you're coming against is very valuable to the Almighty as far as I'm concerned. The hierarchy, the heavenly ones, the ones that are, are loving and benevolent and powerful. You just can't. Just, you're just blocked, man, all over the place. Understand it's not me, but I'm, my cards are saying that. Tell me about this um, door, to, door to romance. And the temple path. That to me seems like guidance as the way you should go. And it says Ten of Pentacles is on on the temple path. You will find the Ten of Pentacles, all the family, all the friends, everything working together. Everything's flowing. Money is prosperous. You're possibly married with children. That's everything. Money in the back. That's prosperous. Mm -hmm. And Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And Nine of Pentacles. Somebody being single and prosperous. The temple path means that you'll probably go that way for a while. I heard from other really good readers that many of the Divine Feminine have gone celibate for a while, and they're clearing their house, and they're making new contracts in the spirit world with their guides and with their Divine, and they're rework reworking their energy with Reiki, and you can't take that back. That's your contract. You take responsibility for what you type, whatever you agree to. Here we go. Michael Archangel, come down here and anybody that's trying to block their, block their energy. Here we go. Tell me, please. We have, you have choices, Seven of Cups, where you want your heart to go. Page of Wands, someone's going to come in with new energy and new vibe for you. Your business will revive. Here we go. Have faith. Your destiny is changing. Queen of Swords, and stay in your blockage energy, stay in your discipline energy, stay in your clear mind, stay in your contract, stay in your prayer, stay in your meditation, stay in connection with divine, don't let anybody get in through your auric field, pray and meditate, cover yourself, breathe on yourself, do meditations, and do that for yourself, you shall be protected, let's see what love says, that's the advice from the guides, all right? I'm doing this as a healing reading. I'm healing my heart because I just put my second baby to sleep. They were very old and very sick. Uh, they were very sick. I don't know. They have really good diets and love, but they were old. So I had to put them both down and they're buried together, side by side. Sent them to the ethers where they would get out of the pain they were in. And thank, that, thank the divine that I had so many years with two spirit cats. Keep an open mind. Something's happening in your experience. You're going to be drawing someone new in. You're going to need them because they have the nurturing heart that you need. Um, and this is someone that you might attract to yourself. And there's this process you have to go through so that you you can clean your own house. Um, and the divine will want to be there and reside with you and be your superpower. Here we go. Make the effort. Great love is worth making the effort for. How about this other person that sits in envy? Past life relationship. In reverse. Tell me about that. Might have children with them. Or children with them. One more. And someone didn't love somebody enough. They just didn't give them enough love, so... I, you can't make people love you. Don't envy them for who they love. You probably get mad and pissed because of the way they left or treated you or did some jabberwocky crap in your in your relationship and lied to you and dragged you around. Then you know you're dealing with the devil. You know, a temptress. I'm hearing the Jezebel energy, um, and she's sneaky, and she's doing moon magic, and it could be something to do with children and a past life relationship. I do past life relationship readings, 
If you're interested, you can go to my website and order one. We have one last message. You need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with somebody today, the angels say. I know not who that is, but they have passion for you. Please like the video. Thank you so much. And if you haven't been to my store, you should try this secret. Holy, yes, it is it's very, very, this is a double batch I made. It's double strong. Oh, my God. It puts me in a holy space, you know. Sanctification spray is what that is. And this is for attraction, money, love, and um, good spirits, lovely spirits. This is like my pixie spray, too. I use it in my goddess boxes, attract love. I also have dispel negative energy. So thank you for being here. <clears throat> like, subscribe comment and share and thank you guys peace out i don't know how to turn that off <laughs>